What's up, everybody? Laura Davidson from Shore, and today we're talking about how to get the most out of your MVX2U digital audio interface. It's a single channel inline audio interface that allows you to take any XLR microphone and plug it into your computer. Dynamic, condenser, doesn't matter. SM7B, it'll provide enough gain for it. But there are some cool tips and tricks that you need to learn before you start using it. And the first thing when you get it out of the box is to head over to Shore.com, type Motive into our search window, and pull up our Shore Plus desktop app. That's going to allow you to have full control over all of the features and benefits provided with your MBX2U. And once you get the app open and ready to rock, you'll notice that it has two different modes. I'm working right now in manual mode. That gives me full control over all of the features and parameters of my microphone, specifically the amount of gain that I need to drive my SM7B. I'm not using any other pieces of gear. I can adjust my monitor mix, meaning I can hear how much or decide how much of me I want to hear as opposed to, let's say, if I were gaming and I wanted to hear more of the game itself or the people I was playing along with, I can adjust that there. And here's where it gets deep. You can go and adjust your five band EQ, lock that out, get it sounding just the way that you want, adjust your high pass filter, off or on, add a limiter, add some compression. And the thing you want to do when you're in manual mode, as soon as you get those set, set the way you like, lock them out. And the reason for this is because if you're using software like Zoom or Teams, it has inherent software parameters and algorithms built in to adjust your sound, your mic, your levels, so that it sounds the best in that particular platform. But by locking it out in manual mode, you'll now disable that from happening within the app. But the coolest thing about the MVX2U is that you can put it into auto level mode. Auto level mode is great for anyone who has no idea what they wanna do about gain, or if they wanna add EQ or compression, or if you have no idea what those words mean, Auto level mode takes any XLR mic and allows the app to do the driving to get your best quality sound without any adjustments necessary from you. All you need to decide is if you wanna be close to the mic, in near mode, or far from the mic so that you can have a little bit more room to talk with your hands or just get it out of your shot if you need to. You can also adjust your gain level. Right now I have it set to normal because it has enough power for my SM7B. You can also engage phantom power if you're using a condenser. You can mute the mic right from within the app and you can also adjust that monitor mix. I'm gonna swap it back over to manual mode though. This is where I like to have the most control because I've already set it the way I want it. I'm gonna lock it out. And now I know that my MVX2U is up and ready. The next thing that you wanna think about when you're using your MVX2U is your output monitoring. I'm using my SE215s plugged directly into the MVX2U to monitor because it does have the ability on the back, you'll see, to plug in a set of headphones. And so when I'm doing that to control my output level, I can do that by changing the output within my computer Right now I'm in a Mac, so I would go into my settings, change the output to be the MVX2U as well as the input, and then I just adjust the level on my computer by turning the volume up or down, and that's what controls what I hear in my earphones. So when you get it home, download the software from Shure.com, head over to the Shure Plus desktop app, start playing with it, customizing your sounds, lock them out if you're using manual mode to avoid any sort of auto adjustment, and then adjust your output level using the uh, volume on your computer that you're plugged directly into. If you have any other questions, please reach out in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe so you stay in touch with all of our How Do You Do That videos. I'm Laura Davidson. Thanks for watching. <laughs>